Hello everyone. I'm back with another Young Indian part of the Voice of the Young segment. Hello everyone, good to be back. Right now we have with us Priyanshi Chabra. Let's listen to her. Over to you, Priyanshi. So I am currently doing master's in economics at IGIDRs. I'm living in Mumbai right now, uh, but I'm from Faridabad, Haryana. And uh, I've uh, I've been in I've been in Faridabad since uh, since childhood, um, my all my life. Uh, I did my graduation from Delhi U Delhi University. In uh, I did bachelor's uh, in arts, and my major were economics and commerce. When I joined my college, my plan was I was going to do my bachelor's in arts and then uh, go for law. That's uh, in Delhi University only. But uh, and I was going to. Yeah, right. Prepare in my third year for that. And uh, but when I started studying economics in my college, I I was good in economics seven and eleven twelve. But because I wanted to do law, I didn't take maths in eleven twelve. So, and when I came to college, I realized that I really like economics. And I think I'm now I'm realizing that I uh I, because I, I could study economics at that point. That's why I decided that I'm going to pursue economics. Had it been the case that I was studying law in my bachelor's also, like somehow, like some subject in law, I would have st uh, still stayed interested in that subject. Uh, but so, yeah, so I shifted to economics. And when I asked, when I approached my professor that how can I prepare for master's in economics, I didn't know back then, back then that there is so much, uh, that there's an entrance for this master's or there's like competition. Uh, in this, I thought it's very easy. Like it's something, it's like something very easy. Like you just go and do a master's in economics. It's basic, I thought. Um, so I approached my professor, and then she told me that, uh, that the that usually people who are doing uh economic honors give this uh exam. So when you'll go to uh, when you'll start preparing for it in your third year, uh, uh, your competition will be with people who already know so much of it. So you should prepare yourself for uh for uh for like uh, entrance for like at least sitting with them in uh, in the class uh, when when you are preparing for it like in a uh, in a setting when you all prepare together so um i i i thought that i'll build a good base i thought that i'll do maths so i started with 11 12 maths and it was feb uh, i think feb is when i started and then around 10th march we got to know that that we uh, due to COVID, colleges closed till April or something, and then COVID lasted for my whole uh, undergraduation. Uh, I, I I got to attend the last semester. That's it. Uh, so this whole uh, period, I decided when COVID started, I decided that I'm going to build, I'm going to study as much as I can. And when COVID starts, and when COVID like is over, uh, when I go back to college, I'll I I'll, I'll be done with a lot of syllabus so that I can. Uh, manage uh, doing other stuff uh, with like college okay. but COVID lasted forever so this phase lasted forever and uh, I did maths and then I studied economics and I used to uh, I used to like use uh, well, YouTube and uh, yeah that's that so um, that happened and then I got into the master's program and I really like studying economics and I really like maths I didn't thought that I would like maths that much, but mm, everything that has maths is like something I like more and uh, things like development or these parts is like, I like it. I like, I like being active in the class and discussing, but I don't really like uh, the stuff. That's that. So what made you decide that you wanted to give up law? Um, I think now I, I was other day I was talking to someone and we uh, I discussed that maybe uh maybe I didn't know if I would be a good lawyer or not how would how would my life be and like it was very uncertain so like to stay in suspense that uh and to not do anything about it from right now like back then um uh was like not not was like not helping me and I wanted to do something about it so because I was studying economics and I could start doing. Uh, something in in like direction of where uh I would I can be like I had an image that do this right now uh, but for law I didn't know what to do like it was just wait for uh third year to prepare and then get into I think that's why I could uh, I couldn't do anything about it and like if I have a goal uh even if it's very far fetched I should have a plan of, of like a short term plan how I'm going to reach there and I should be 
doing something about it. But the fact that I couldn't do anything about that that goal, I think I just like let it be. And also, I know my brother is a lawyer, so I like see it very clearly. Like you don't get paid well if you are uh, working in a in a small firm and if you're not working in a corporate firm. If you work in a corporate firm, then you get paid really well, and um, but you don't get to go to the court uh, often. And I think I. I think I'm, uh, and I wanted to do law in the first place because I really uh, like uh, taking a stand for what's right and what's wrong. Even in class, I think I'm very famous for uh, the kind of person I am. Like if I get to know something was wrong, if I get to know that checking was wrong or something, like there's uh, there's no way that I'm going to just let it be. I'll, I'll, I'll fix the situation and I'm very much like that. So this one time I was discussing with my friends that I wanted to get, I want to get into politics. But I think, uh, so we came to this conclusion that politics is not for me because like for that, you have to be a little polite and diplomatic. If you want to keep a point, you have to be, uh, you have to be like diplomatic about it. But if I think something is right, I'll straight away put the facts, this, 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 this. So you should do this now. And uh, and uh, if it's not done, then I won't like be at ease. So uh, I think uh, politics, I cannot do that. So yeah, that's but give us an example of what you can do, or uh, that you have done. Uh, so example. You, you stand up, and uh, so let's listen. Um, I mean, like it's very small. Uh, okay, like for like something like for society in the sense. Uh, I, I was part of interact club in my school. Interact club is uh when I joined interact club, it was also very random because uh we were sitting in the library and somebody came and asked if we want to be a part of interact club. So I just gave my no give my name because uh then I can like uh go for uh work related to interact club and I don't have to attend classes. So I gave my name, but when I started working for it, it was like uh you get uh you get stuff made by made by handicapped people, so you have to sell it and. So the, the first opportunity we got to do this was uh, during Rakhi and there was this parent teacher meeting. People had uh, so like parents were coming and my duty was to ask uh, every parent that uh, they uh, suggest every parent that and also inform them about the cause and that they should you know, that they should like buy Rakhi if if they celebrate Rakhi and uh, how it's like the funds are going to go back to the NGO. So. And uh, so uh, I think I was standing there for two hours and I didn't let any parent go by by not like informing them uh, about this, like uh, yeah. about the about the stall. And we yeah. sold out. So I was very happy and that was very motivating. So uh, I keep that spirit alive my whole like uh, tenure, which was like for one year. And uh, yeah, so that was very fun. And we used to like organize blood camps with blood, like, uh, yeah. Uh, so for blood camps, we used to like ask our relatives and uh, people in our uh, state or like who live with us, um, our parents, our grandparents or whatever, and uh, ask them to go donate blood if they can. And that was that. Uh, these were the two, two things that my club used to do. And we used to host uh, stalls and uh, we used to like set up stalls during uh, school mela. And yeah, that's that's that was something... I was really passionate about and I realized that I really like uh, and um, I really like uh, st uh, standing up for uh, for something that's just right and like for like if there is a cause and it's a good cause and if I'm getting to help someone then I would back off that uh, then I would like really try to help as much as I can because I think mm, I don't know I'm like just very spiritual and I think if we if we all are just one and if we all are like uh, God's children then they all are my brother sister so if I can then I must help them and there's like no difference between my family and them because I think I think the I think like God is I mean like I think if, if God is everything and if God is like above us all then um, then we are all one and we are we are all family okay well that's a great philosophy to have and you have given us a very clear uh Exact explanation. What else? I mean, you have some hobbies or some fun or something. Mm, I want to say listening music is my hobby because I listen to it all the time and it's like a part of me. Like I always have my earphones, earphones with me, and they are always in my ears. And I and I'm like very uh very uh uh like I don't uh, yeah I, I always have I am always listening to music and I and I really like uh exercising. 
I used to like doing running because no, I used to like exercising and then COVID happened, gyms were closed. So I started doing running and this one time um I was running in the park and I was running for a for a for a while. So this uncle asked me that do you do do you run marathons or something? I said no, but then I thought to myself that can I run a marathon? Then I this then I then I like then I started running for five kilometers. I thought five kilometers is a good way to start. And then I did eight and then I did ten. And when I did ten, then I then after that I did twelve. And after that, I did 15 and then I realized that I can run a marathon because they start with 5, 10, 21. So I was talking to a friend and I was telling that I want to run. Should I run a 21 kilometer or 10 kilometer? So he said that um, in Hindi, that hum zindagi mein aage hai. So I was like, Baat to sahi hai. So I decided, uh, I, I decided to try and uh, try if I can run 18 kilometers, then I think I did again. 18 kilometers and then I decided to do 21 before uh, up till that point I had already signed up for that marathon and then uh, I ran I ran that marathon and then when I was I was like uh, doing my last kilometer I just realized that I'm this is very boring I'm running aimlessly just for like proving myself a point now I have proved it uh, I'm not doing this again and I think after that I tried running a 10 kilometer again which was like very basic for me yeah. back then yeah. Uh, the, but like I was just like not into it and I realized and then I never did running again so I won't say running is my hobby now but okay. it used to be like mm. I like challenge and then I stick with them for a while and I won't give up on them until I'm, until I'm, I'm bored or I, I don't I don't like feel motivated so as long as I'm motivated I'll, I'll stick to it so what kind of music do you listen to I mean almost all the time so it must be a lot of it what is it yeah so I really like Mukesh. It's a uh, very like nineties. So I really like Mukesh, and then I like this band called Luminous, and uh, I like Beatles, and uh, yeah, and yeah, that and I I, I also like Arjit Singh. I like uh, Noor Jahan, which is from I think Pakistan. I think that's what her name is. I know the song that I listen to, but I I don't I think it's Noor Jahan. I don't know. I don't remember exactly. But she's from a pa She's from Pakistan. And yeah, she's like, I think she's, uh, yeah. And, uh, and who else were? Um, um, well, you know, talking about Noor Jahan, she yeah. was uh, Lata Mangeshkar's predecessor in Mumbai. Oh, I see. She was the reigning queen of Hindi film song, Suraya Noor right. Jahan. Till Lata yeah. came and Lata was actually younger than them. And it's only, uh, well, let us say, coincidentally, after partition, Noor Jaha decided to go to Pakistan. And that left the gates open for uh, Lata. Oh. And uh, Lata and Noor Jaha actually, Dada never forget, forgot that Noor Jaha had guided her. And okay. much after in... You know, once Lata was in Amritsar and she said, I want to see Noor Jahan. And she's in Pakistan, but mm -hmm. there was no way to get a visa. Okay. Oh, so, but both are very honored in their country. So they made a special exemption for them saying mm -hmm. that, listen, you know, there's this border, you know, at Vaga. And there is a no man land between the two gates. So we will each open our gate and you two can meet in the in between no man's land. And they did. So this is actually the, you know, Noor Jaha That's was, That's like... really, it was really the tops in Mumbai. And then she was the tops in uh, Pakistan, of course. And being in Pakistan means you can't really be tops in the world because India is so much bigger and Lata, of course, dominated the world. And But Noor Jahan was certainly very good and uh, very much loved by people of my generation. I mean, I was not born when she left for Pakistan, but we heard her. <laughs> so anyway, let's just... She is not from Pakistan. No, you know, she was not born in Pakistan. She was the reigning 
singer in India. Okay, so anyway, let's continue. If you've heard her, it's great. I'm amazed that young people today listen to songs from those days. It's just yeah. you know, very amazing to me. And I like watching old movies. Uh -huh. And um, yeah, I, I, I don't really like watching movies that much. But like when I do watch movies, they have to be like about, they have to be like either old uh, Bollywood movies or like good uh, good inspirational movies. Like, yeah, yeah, that's what I watch. But I don't like keeping up with like new movies that have uh that have just launched or whatever um but yeah I, I only like listening to music for entertainment I like reading books and I I like I like uh starting with random courses on these like MIT open courseware or Yale uh just to like start and uh and, but I like watch one or two lectures if I'm interested then I'll uh, watch the whole course but that's what I do in my free time and uh, yes, that's that's it. And so I like what? and I like and I like sipping coffee. That's not a hobby, but I do so <laughs> much of it. Like my my break is when I'll come back from class, or if I have one and a half hour between my classes, I'll just come back and make myself coffee. And even if it's like just a little bit of it, I'll still like I just still like the fun of it. Like I really like sipping so, coffee. Okay. Any advice you have for young people? Um, I think advice. Uh, when when I was uh when I was starting with this MA economics, uh, I when when this idea first came came in my mind, uh, back then it seemed really impossible. Not impossible, but it seemed really hard for me uh to do all the maths and then to do economics and then manage my college with all that. Uh, but I thought to myself, if I do this one thing, I'll have this great example for myself that back then I really had no plan, didn't know anyone. Uh, economic honors is not even a course in my college. So I didn't know anyone and maths is also not taught in my college at all. So uh, um, uh, so uh, uh, I thought that if I do this one thing, it will be a great example for myself and I'll have this evidence forever that back then I really didn't know and I still figured it out because uh because i because i didn't give up so i think our mind works on evidence so um we should like we should like uh ask ourselves what are the things we are scared but that's what i would do that ask ourselves what are the things i'm scared of like if i'm scared of uh, of figuring out suppose like measure theory then i should like just start taking a course and then just uh figure everything out uh, figure everything uh, about it and uh, uh, make uh, build such evidence for ourselves because I think it uh because I think my theory is really correct that we really do work uh, work on like based on evidence we have about ourselves. If I stay, if I if I don't do anything before going to bed, if I don't do anything productive, then next day there's uh usually I'm not motivated enough. Either I'm scared and that's the reason because why I'm motivated, but uh usually I'm not motivated. Um, if I if I don't do anything uh, the night before, so uh, I think uh, our mind really works on evidence. And if you if you haven't done anything, um, if you haven't like if you don't have any evidence, then you should like just calm down and now build it. Like start from like uh, you know how they say that no, uh, I don't know. Uh, but like just like uh, they ride the road side, but like kabi toh to yeah. So I think uh. Yeah, I think you can do anything if you put your mind to it, and there is no such thing that you cannot figure out if you if you stick with it long enough. And yeah, you should never let anyone tell you that you cannot do something. You can do anything you. Want. Okay. Anything else you want to add here? No, I think like mm, stay happy, live in your own bubble, like uh, protect your uh, protect your energy vibe. Like that, you are going to meet so many people. Who are like going to uh, who are like going to like project what they think about themselves, like project their insecurities to you. I think as like uh, young uh, young uh, individuals and even back in school and when we were kids, uh, like it was so usual that uh, that when we, when our friends when our friend used to say that oh I haven't prepared or oh I uh, this I hate maths. It was so uh, common for us to like just uh say yes to that and say yes i also hate math maths but not have our own um personal opinion or like uh we used to just let them uh, inspire us and then then we used to also like back off or uh, back off back off or like whatever you used to. but 
but uh, but i think well, like as you grow up you should realize that uh, you can have your own um the you should you should not listen to such things like when now somebody says to me that they don't like micro because it has too much mass or something i really don't let that affect my uh, my like my what i feel about the subject or if somebody tells tells me that this course that you are going to take take the 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 course is really hard or something i won't let that put any impression um uh, about the course so like uh, start with a like uh, let's start with like fresh start don't have any like like uh, like any inspirations from uh, such opinions because they are just opinions and you can start fresh okay That's wonderful it. thank you so much for such a clear explanation of what it is that drives you and the many good things that drive you i'm sure and uh, i'm sure you'll achieve a lot with this spirit and this attitude uh, you look like you know what you can do and you will do it because you don't let anything hold you back so congratulations yeah, on that <laughs> let's end it here today and uh, i'll be back with another young person or an expert soon uh, bye everybody um, we'll be back soon okay bye bye